Divine Lightning. Brick by Brick, Kaz Brecker. I told you I like your stupid face. Close your eyes. You can't kiss me from down there, Wylan. Just do it. Magic doesn't require beauty, she said. Easy magic is pretty. Great magic asks that you trouble the waters. It requires a disruption, something new. Where do you think the money went? He repeated. Sugar, said Kaz. Jesper nudged the sugar bowl down the table to him. Kaz rolled his eyes. Not for my coffee, you podge. That she was lovely and brave and better than anything he deserved. That he was twisted, crooked, wrong, but not so broken that he couldn't pull himself into some semblance of a man for her. One of his hands balanced on his cane. The other rested at his side, next to her. She'd need only move the smallest amount, and they would be touching. He was that close. He was that far from reach. Kaz had taught her to crack a safe, pick a pocket, wield a knife. He'd gifted her with her first blade, the one she called Sanct Petir. Not as pretty as wild geraniums, but more practical, she supposed. I thought the love I'd had for him belonged to the past, to the foolish, lonely girl I never wanted to be again. I'd tried to bury that girl and the love she'd felt, just as I'd tried to bury my power. But I wouldn't make that mistake again. Wylan wanted to scream. The closet was crammed with paintings, landscapes, different views of the hospital grounds, a lake in sun and shadow, and there, repeated again and again, was the face of a little boy with ruddy curls and bright blue eyes. You are strong enough to survive the fall. They were plummeting toward the sea. Zoya felt Genya's arms around her, Liliana holding her tight. She felt Nikolai's presence beside her and Juris's sword in her hands. With a wild, gasping breath, she felt her wings unfurl.